What do you get out of this investment from Goldman and Galaxy, aside from money? <laughs> no, actually, it's, it wasn't about the money. Um, it's much more about the strate strategic nature of this. So, you know, institutional custody is something we've been talking about as a big missing piece. Today, most people are holding their assets on exchanges. That's not the same model we use with any other asset class, and yet that's what we do in crypto. Um, so BitGo's been working on changing that infrastructure for some time. Goldman and Galaxy are coming in. They're looking for that as well. They scoured the landscape. They found us. I'm happy to work with them. Can you just define what you mean by institutional custody, institutional custody clients? Right. So when you think about custody for your own assets, that's your choice of what you do with your money. You can put it in your wallet. You can cash your paycheck. You can put it in your mattress. You can put it in your bank. It's up to you. It's your money. Nobody else cares. When it comes to institutions, they're holding other people's money. When you're holding someone else's money, we've always held a much higher bar for what those, those custodians are doing, right? We, we want to know that you're not going to cheat, you're not, not lying, you're audited, you've actually got the assets, so custodians help with that problem. How many clients do you have at this point? Over 300. Uh, we're a global firm, so there's over 100 exchanges around the world that use Bitco wallets. Um, and then the latest form uh, of the product around custodianship is really more about hedge funds and things like that. Now, we've seen Goldman slowly uh, increasing its commitment to Bitcoin after, you know, initial uncertainty. What does Goldman get out of this? And Goldman is a very different company, right? They've been the financial services powerhouse for decades, and their ability to move into this space requires a lot more than it does for the smaller companies. So it's going to take a while. They are a bank. They are under more regulatory uh, scrutiny from a number of different regulators than Bitco is. Um, so it's going to take them time to fully get in. How much is your business compromised by the just the amount of shady practices and misinformation in the industry in general? Well, part of the challenge for the entire industry is to figure out how to get the, the word out that it's not just about that. We actually can create safe money. We have the best form of money ever created with digital currencies, and we can take that forward. So we have all we are a regulated company, actually, out of the Division of Banking in South Dakota. Uh, we have all of the same rules in terms of customer identification, AML, KYC, et cetera, that any other custodian would be subject to that's holding other asset classes. We're doing that same thing for digital currencies. Do you think the market's going to turn around? It is, is it low right now? I think it's, de now? it's definitely low right now. There's no doubt it's going to turn around. The real question is when. When? When do you think? You know, I, I don't like to guess on that because you can be right, you can be wrong. It doesn't really matter. We're in this for the long term. The fact is, is that Bitcoin has opened our eyes to the idea that digital currency can change the way we move money. You can move money around the globe 24 hours a day, seven days a week at almost no fee with no counterparty risk. And you've never had that before. What's your objective? Would you sell the company? Would you sell it to Goldman? We're trying to make an impact in the world, actually. I mean, it's not, it's not about sales. Um, no, I don't want to sell it to Goldman. Um, you know, the, the, the idea here is like we're building new product that's going to enable new things. We can change the way the financial system works. And marrying Silicon Valley with Wall Street, which is what we've kind of done here a bit, is going to allow us to learn from what they've been doing over the last decades and then hopefully also bring some of the innovation that comes from Silicon Valley tech companies.